Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on this show, and I'm here to recap my sixth NCAA tournament second round matchup. Here today, between the number one U or tonight now, the number one UConn Huskies beating the number nine seeded Northwestern uh, Wildcats, 75 58 reaction. That first half for Northwestern just really did them in. They just, ugh, not, not a good first half for Northwestern. They just got completely outplayed. I thought they played better in the second half, you know. That scored UConn 40 to 35, but that first half really did them in. Got that scored 40 to 18. UConn was just the more aggressive, more dominant team, just right out of the gate. And UConn has absolutely dominated their first two matchups. Their first round matchup, uh, dominated 16 seed Stetson 92 50, 91 52, and then dominates Northwestern 75 58. They've just absolutely cruised through their first two matchups. And UConn was really doing their work early in the paint. It's just Northwestern couldn't stop the paint with, um, I forget his name, uh, Klingon, Donovan Klingon. But UConn's now won its last in eight, last eight NCAA tournament games they made last year by an average of 22 points. They haven't, they haven't won over the last two editions of March Madness. They haven't just won. They have absolutely dominated their competition in blue blood fashion. As Manhattan's John Gallagher said, they answer every question. This UConn team has no weaknesses. Offensively, defensively, no weakness. The coaching staff, no weakness. They have the best coach in Dan Hurley. I don't want to hear Kelvin Sampson until he wins a title. Bill Self, I don't think anymore. Uh, to me, Dan, Dan, Dan Hurley's the best coach. He'll be like, oh yeah, but he has the best team. Well, they really... Hadn't really been like this, made this deep of tournament runs until they got Dan Hurley. Because they destroyed the competition last year. So even in the championship, they won their conference. They won the regular season, won the, won the conference tournament. Now they've destroyed their first two opponents. And I don't care, oh, oh if they're going to be an all-time team, it'd be great if they have nice opponents. Well, how can you blame them? They're literally just playing who they play. I mean, and people are like, oh yeah, the seeding. Who cares about the seeding in the tournament? And also, Klingon had eight blocks in this game. He was fantastic. And then Tristan Newton also had 20 points and 10 assists. They won all eight games by at least 10 points with an average margin of victory of 22 points. That's just crazy. I mean, there's not really much else to say for Northwest. They ran into the best team in the country. A rough way to go, but another program-changing year. Um, incredible this team got here given the injuries. So next they got to recruit elite-level talent, earn better than eight or nine seed, so they don't run to the top seed each year in the second round, because they weren't going to get past UConn. UConn's just too good of a team. So we'll just see what Northwestern doing in the offseason, but back to UConn. Uh, whew, clean was great. 14 points. 14 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 8 blocks, 5 of 7 from the floor, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. He might be the best center in this draft. Uh, I felt the Grizzlies would be the best fit of any prospect in the entire draft, because I think he would fit well with John Moran, John Moran and Desmond Bain on that team. But he, he played great. Uh, just... There used to be questions about Dan Hurley in the postseason. He's now brought UConn to the Sweet 16 back-to-back -back years for the first time in 20 years. Historic run, and to come win back-to-back -back titles. On a real, on a note of real basketball analysis, look at how Northwestern's offense looked versus Purdue, and now how it's looked versus UConn. Tell, and it tells you a lot about the difference between Donovan Klingon and Zach Eady as defenders. And to be fair, the most correct take from this game is UConn's good. Also a testament of how good UConn's guards are at defending. But he's still, I guess, a valiant defense college of basketball, being tall and senior as the rim is helpful, but the movement skills and rim pro technique are just lacking compared to Donovan Klingon, who was absolutely murdered every single who absolutely murdered every single thing Northwestern tried to do tonight, and he just murdered it. That's just my opinion, though. So, the uh, UConn now moves to Sweet 16 in Boston. We'll play at 739 uh, next week.
but let's go over more of the stats here. Uh, Tristan Newton, 20 points, 10 assists. Showing why he's a first-team AP All-American. Uh, Cam Spencer, 11 points, 4 assists, uh, 4 rebounds. Uh, Klingon, 14 points, 14 rebounds, 8 blocks. Stephen Castle, 7 points, 1 assist, 2 rebounds. Alex Caravan, 9 points, 2 assist, 5 rebounds. Uh, Samson Johnson, 6 points, 1 rebound. Uh, Hassan Diara, 5 points, 2 assist, 2 rebounds. They just have a lot, really good players with, you know, they're starting 5 with Newton, Spencer, Caravan, Klingon, Castle. But they have good depth pieces. Even Jalen Stewart off the bench. Samson Johnson, Hassan Diara. Andre Johnson Jr. even hit a 3. The bench, uh, Bo Bowie, uh, nine points, four assists, two rebounds. Ends a great college career for the last time, and he didn't play good tonight, but he had a fine career. He's gonna be an excellent uh, hardship waiver roster addition for some NBA team. But he played, he played, he had a great career though. I think he can be an NBA team. Langborg, thirteen points. Uh, Martinelli, six points. Six points, two assists, seven rebounds for Hunger. Uh, Eighteen points, six rebounds for Barnheiser. The Barn. Uh, four points for Blake Preston. So there's your player stats for the team stats. UConn shot fifty-three percent for four, only three of twenty-two, sixteen point six percent from three. But they out rebounded Northwestern, forced more turnovers, and just shot better overall. Northwestern shot thirty-seven percent. UConn shot fifty-three percent, but they most of the damage in the paint. And for mid-range, because they didn't shoot well from three, but really didn't matter for how Northwestern didn't shoot as well. They either 415 from three. Good season for Northwestern, but just comes come, comes up short. But this is just how dominant UConn is. Like three of like 20 from three, and one that it was winning this game by 18 and pull their stars off the floor. And that's how good they are, even when they're not shooting three for the three well, they can dominate in the paint. 52 to 26 in the paint, and 26 on 29, 29 made field goals. And they played one of their worst games of the year from outside, and, and still won by, it was going to win by 20 until they took their starters out. But yeah, it's really off to save for this game here, so until next time, have a lot. Peace, and I'll be back for the Houston Texas Amory recap, and then Yale San Diego State to end the round of 32, and then next week, we'll be back here with random 16 cover or the sweet 16 coverage so yeah um, until next time out peace two more games tonight